Tonight, we're hearing from Kate Armstrong. She's the wife of Antonio Armstrong Jr. He was convicted of killing his parents, Dawn and Antonio Sr., in August after three trials. Tonight, she shares her frustrations in an exclusive interview with KPRC 2's Rowan Belogan. It's a story you'll see only on 2. Hey, Kate Armstrong shares with me that since AJ, her husband, has been transported out of Harris County, she's been only able to communicate with him through TDCJ's text messaging app. Now, in the months since his conviction, she shares that she's been trying to explain everything to the couple's three-year-old son. Oh, gosh. That was the moment that... I had been praying when it happened for the last seven years. For seven years, Kate Armstrong stood by Antonio Armstrong Jr.'s side, walking with him each day for his three trials. Now we're hearing from her. I think people know who Kate is, but few people have heard from you. Why are you talking to us now? I am talking to you guys now because um, AJ's been convicted and it's I think it's really important for the public to know the how awful it's been. I mean, just the nitty gritty of what this is truly like and how our justice system works and how much this affects an entire family, not just one person. Antonio Armstrong Jr. was convicted in August of killing his parents, Don and Antonio Sr. in the third trial. In the months since, Armstrong said she's been trying to answer her toddler's questions. For now, she's shielding him. He's starting to ask more questions. Um, Mommy, where's daddy? Like, where's daddy? I want to talk to him on the phone. And I just tell him, you know, baby, like, we'll be able to talk to daddy on the phone soon, just not right now. There are a lot of people who believe and say the verdict was just. What happened in court a few months ago is what's supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. When you hear that, what goes through your head when people said the verdict was just? So the people who say that, which they will forever, there will be people who say that, and that is gonna be something we have to deal with forever. But I just pray that those people can, you know, find the time to do their own research and look at what has truly gone on. Prosecutors say all of the evidence gathered points to A.J. Armstrong as the sole perpetrator. Meanwhile, his family is standing beside him as they are raising funds now for his appeals efforts. Reporting from Herman Park, Roman Belogan, KPRC, 2 News. Our thanks.